Hi, this is Lee Ambergy, stampwithlee.com. I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator in Metro Ohio, and thank you for stopping by for today's video. This is the card that we're gonna be making, but before we do that, just a few items um, to go over. My October PDF tutorial features the Fruitful Blessings Bundle, and what this is, is you can get this tutorial free to make five cards um, featuring this bundle. When you place a $25 order in my online store using October host code, you get um, the file emailed to you that has full pictures for the five cards, a listing of all the material I used, uh, measurements for uh, cutting all the cardstock and material. So that is yours with a $25 purchase in the month of October and also in the month of October Stamping Up is celebrating their 35th anniversary with a joining special um, and you can join as a demonstrator take advantage of the special and never do another thing um, there is no obligation whatsoever so you can get um, the starter kit at 35% off the price, which means you get for um, you get one hundred and twenty five dollars worth of product for sixty four dollars and thirty five cents. You have to pay tax. It ships free, or you can take thirty five percent more. Option number two, which means for ninety nine dollars, the cost of this normal starter kit that's normally what it cost, you can get one hundred and sixty eight dollars and seventy five cents worth of stamping up goodies. All this information is listed below this video on my blog. If you are watching this video from my YouTube channel, um, I do have a link um, in the in the box that you can copy and paste and that will take you to my blog, Stamp With Lee, and all that information is listed. So this is our card and this features the Garden Meadow Bundle. This bundle will be featured uh, November 7th. It's a third release on the online exclusives. And um, yeah, so that's what we're gonna be doing. Um, just the only thing I'm deviating is this is a, what I call a top fold card. My card base is four and a quarter by 11. Um, what I'm making today is side fold and that's five and a half by eight and a half card base. Either one, <laughs> you can do whichever uh, you want. So what I'm going to do first is Stamp my greeting because I know I want that near the bottom of my card. So I have happy birthday and I'm using Night of Navy ink. And no, I could not find my Night of Navy ink pad, which means it's in with material I have already cut for an upcoming class. And I wasn't about to go fish that out of the bundle. So I'm going to stamp my greeting. Hope it's straight. Hope I don't goober. It's a little crooked, but that's okay. It's no big deal. So why I don't need that anymore, so get rid of my mat. What I did is I took a piece of the Mirandering Meadow Designer Series paper, um, matted that onto a piece of Night of Navy cardstock. I've got dimensionals on it, and I'm going to just put that on the front of my card. My Designer Series paper is doing all the work for me. And what I like about this, this like scene for the Designer Series papers, because I'm using Night and Navy, I'm keeping my, my accents. I'm going to say my cardstock and my um, stamping, my ink, kind of like what I would call a neutral color. Um, even though there's flowers on this or whatever, it's a beautiful scene and it's going to be great for a masculine card. Finish this up. I have stamped, also from this stamp set, this little um, flower. And I did stamp that also in Night and Navy. Yes, you can. You can do that. And I am just going to take my blends and just add some color. Uh, nothing super fancy. Just, yeah, boom. Just adding color with my blends. And I'm using the Fresh Freeze Freezna and the Granny Apple Green for this. And even if you want, you can just add some some green down there. I am going to die cut this. There's a coordinating die to make sure this doesn't shift on me. I am going to use a piece of paper tape to hold that down. I have my little Stampin' Mini um, off to the side, so I'm going to crank it through. Die cut that out. 
and this was just a scrap of um, basic white cardstock. I don't want to lose that. Let's set that aside. And just like this one, <laughs> maybe, I'm going to put this on the inside. Yes, um, you could have stamped this. I did not want to take the chance of my blends um, bleeding through onto the back of my cardstock. That just, yeah, that just kind of freaks me out. Um, I'm going to add some of our multi-purpose glue. Um, I just happened to put mine into a very fine tip bottle. It's just easier um, for me. And just so I'm not all thumbs, I'm going to use my tweezers to put this down. And right now for the time being, I'm just going to put a block on that to hold it down. What I have here on this one is um, adhesive back. This is also, these embellishments are going to be on the um, October 7th release. Dragonflies and birds. So there are dragonflies. Um, I guess I could use a dragonfly, but I'm, I'm going to stick with a bird. Um, and I'm going to use one of these. One of these little dudes. So where's my piercer? Your piercer. I'm going to grab one of these. And I'm just going to put it right there. And that's it. So we have a very, very basic, very simple um, birthday card. And I am letting Stamping Up's Designer Series paper do all the work for me. Um, I stamped a greeting. I did a little embellishment inside. And you know what? You don't even have to do this. You just put your Designer Series paper on, stamp your greeting, and you're good to go. So look through your stash, see what you have that you can let the designer series paper do the work for you. Thanks for, so much for stopping by. Have a wonderful day. Bye.